today I'm gonna share with you my first ever skincare favorites video that I got, that I promised you guys. Um, I said in a few videos ago, and I think my last one too, that I was going to be doing a new series on my channel where it's basically just like my favorites of each category of skincare. So cleansers and toners, moisturizers and eye creams masks and peels, you know, different things like that. So today is going to be my first ever video in this series. Hold on, my bangs are driving me and I do not want to be playing with them the whole time. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm obviously not wearing any makeup as you can see and I figured because it's a skincare video it might be best to not wear any makeup and also you might notice my background. It's like a sister and of course the Yule Log is going in the back. Since we don't have a fireplace I think it's real festive. <sighs> Anyway, I put my Christmas tree up last night, and yeah, this is the new background for the next few videos, so I hope you guys enjoy. It's honestly my favorite background that I do because I love the Christmas tree and the Yule Logs in the back. Anyway, let's go. So before I get into the products, I just want to tell you guys what my skin's like. Um, if you would have watched any of my other favorite videos, you probably would have seen me mention my skin before. So my skin is more of a normal to combination, not too oily if that makes any sense. Like I don't ever get um, oily, like really in my tea zone unless it's like the dead of the summer. It gets pretty dry in the winter, but throughout the rest of the year, it's basically normal. I do have larger pores, which is kind of weird for someone who doesn't have super oily skin, but maybe again, that's just me and I'm crazy and I think that my pores are screaming, but they are. So I do have a little bit larger pores and I do get the breakouts. Um, Usually it is, you know, if I know I'm eating like crap or it's that time of the month, so I do get breakouts. They happen, let's be serious. But I don't, um, I would not say that I'm super acne prone. So with that being said, these products are great and I feel like most of them are universal so anyone with any kind of skin type can use them. But I am gonna be honest, I'm not a professional with skincare. I know like the basics. I know what like you're supposed to be doing and like, what products kind of go, but I'm not like super, like I'm not an expert, I'm not an esthetician. I'm a cosmetologist, I do hair, I do makeup, I don't do skin. I can give you basic like recommendations, but that's really honestly all I know. If you have a different skin type from me, I'm not 100% sure with how some of these products would work. I, again, like I said, I think all of them would work great. They're pretty much all universal, so I feel like anyone can use them, but you guys want to see my favorite cleanser slash toners please keep watching I'm gonna first start with pre cleansing and then going to cleansers and then into toners so what I first want to mention um, are these ponds makeup removing cleansing towelettes now they have a ton of different towelettes out there but I um, personally like these ones I repurchased these many a times um, I do have you know other ones in my collection but they're not I haven't repurchased them. Um, so I love these and also I love the Purity Made Simple Cleansing Wipes, but they're $15, which is a little crazy for some cleansing wipes. So only when I want to splurge, I buy those. But usually you can get these anywhere for like five bucks. Um, but they are my favorite just to kind of, if I'm feeling real lazy, I'll use it for my whole entire face. Or if I just need to clean something up, I'll use that. You know, makeup falls out when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I use these. I just really like them and I like bringing them to the gym. P.S. I haven't worked out in ages, but when I did, I loved bringing these to the gym with me. They were just easy and I could just wipe off anything crazy. So those are one of my favorites. Um, the next pre-cleanse type of thing I like is these this oil cleanser right here. I get this at Revive. Um, it's made by the private label company that I've mentioned before that unfortunately you guys can't get your hands on unless you're my friend, then I can get you some, then I can get you some stuff. Anyway, um, Oil cleanser. I really like this. It's basically, you guys know, I'm sure you've seen plenty of oil cleansers out there. They have so many. So if you're in the market for an oil cleanser, definitely go look for that. I really like an oil cleanser. I think it's great. Again, if I'm kind of feeling lazy and I don't feel like going through like two cleanses and all this stuff, I throw this on my face. It takes everything. It basically just like dis disintegrates everything. Disintegrates? Dis disintegrates. It basically just disintegrates everything. So that way all the makeup is off my face and I can go in and do the next step. Um, 
In conjunction with that, every single night that I take my makeup off, I use my makeup remover. You would have seen this in a favorites video many times. I'm sure I've mentioned it a million times. Again, I get this at Revive and um, it's just, I've already shaken it up so you can't really tell, but it's usually just um, separated. If you've seen it at Sephora, it's very similar to that one. Personally, I like this one better. Um, I used the other one on my trip when I went to California over the summer and I still love this one way more. Um, but this, it's separated, so it's the clear liquid and then the blue liquid at the bottom, and you just shake it up, put it on a cotton round, and then I like to just hold it on my eyes and hold it there for maybe like, I don't know, if I'm feeling crazy, I go like 30 seconds, but usually it's like 15, 10 or 15 seconds, but I'm um, just hold it there and then wipe everything off. Um, and usually if I use this first, I don't have to do much of this, but um, this is a little heavy on your eyes, so if your eyes are pretty sensitive, you just want to kind of steer clear of that. So the next thing I love is the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. And you guys would have known this because I've mentioned this a million times, a million, I swear to God. Um, on my blog, I've posted about it. It's honestly my favorite cleanser ever. I've repurchased, oh God, I don't know, like a million of them. Um, this was the last time I purchased it and I purchased the big guy and I probably will never purchase a smaller one than this. I actually think I'm gonna get the big one next, when I'm out of this just because I love it so, so, so much. So I'll read it to you. Um, I'm sure you guys already know. I'll just read this part. It says, uh, deep cleans pores, eliminates makeup buildup, hydrates it, uh, hit, blah, 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 hydrates as it melts away makeup, contains deep cleansing agents, natural oil extracts, help condition skin, fragrance-free formula, um, contains a pro 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 mm, proprietary blend of extracts for a unique fresh scent, which is funny because it says fragrance-free, but it just has a very light scent. There's nothing crazy. It's honestly, it's perfect, I think, for everyone. It doesn't suds, um, but it honestly does. It just chews through your makeup, gets rid of it. So usually what I'll do is, I, I haven't used my oil cleanser. This is my first step when I cleanse. Um, well, excuse me. This is my second step when I cleanse because I use my eye makeup remover first. If I haven't used my cleansing oil, this is the first step that I take. Um, even if I have used that, this will be my second and last cleansing step but I honestly love this stuff so much. It's honestly the best ever. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> um, so another cleanser that I like to use is this Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Cleansing, oh, Daily Clearing Cleansing Cleanser. That's it. Um, I have the small baby one because I really wanted to try it because I didn't want to purchase $39, spend $39 if I didn't like it. Um, but honestly, I love it. It's a mo uh, mud to foam. I'm sure you guys have heard of these Glam Glow um, cleansers, but they first came out with masks, and Glam Glow is just amazing. I love their masks. But, um, so this was the first cleanser I tried. This one's for problem skin, skin imperfections, pore refining, mattifying, and clarifying. So like I stated before, um, I don't have problem skin, I wouldn't say. I do have you know, I do get those breakouts, so I like to use this to really clear up. And I, in my opinion, I have huge pores, like I said. So I really like using this for days where either one, I don't have any makeup on and I just really want to use something that just clears everything out or it's been a rough week and I want to use this like over the weekend or if I'm just feeling it. But, um, whoop. I love the way that this makes my skin feel. So I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you've had this feeling if you've chewed gum before, but like spearmint gum, you know that like fresh feeling or even actually the feeling you get, your teeth feel so clean and fresh like after you brush your teeth. That's like basically the exact feeling, which is weird because I don't think there's any spearmint or peppermint or anything in this, but it really, like my skin just feels like so refreshed, so nice, so I really, really like this one. I also have the blue one but um, I'm a little iffy. I haven't been too dry for me to really be able to use that one. So maybe I'll mention that one later on. <laughs> but again, I love this one. Let me know if you guys have used any of the other Glam Glow um, mud to foam masks down below in the comments. Thank you. So the next thing I love um, for cleanser is this Benefit Foamingly Clear Facial Wash. So it's basically the best sudsing facial wash I've ever used. Um, it's just a one step gentle, it's very gentle on the skin. It smells really good. Another light scent that I really like the smell. 
So what I how I like to use this is I never use it like with my own hands. I use my Clarisonic. So that's another favorite in the cleansing realm. Um, is my Clarisonic. This is the Mia 2. I got this one a few years ago and I have the deep pore cleansing head on it. I have tried the normal head. I do not like it as much as this one, which is funny because I've heard almost nothing but bad things about the deep pore cleanser um, or the deep pore cleansing head. I really love it. I don't know what people are talking about. Maybe they just have really sensitive skin. I have skin like a rhinoceros, rhinoceros, like a rhinoceros. Is that how you say it? Like a rhinoceros. That's what I have skin like, a freaking right? I have skin like an elephant, so I don't ever feel like this is doing any damage to my skin or it did not make me break out. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, read up on the Clarisonic, but a lot of people say that you get a purging stage, which you would because this penetrates your skin, or like this doesn't penetrate your skin, but this pulls things really deep out of your skin. Like, I don't know what the percentage is, like 10 times, I don't know, whatever. 10 times deeper out of your skin than your actual hands can do. So, um, even if you feel like you've scrubbed your face so good, there's still gonna be stuff on this, um, on the head of this. But anyway, I never had that purging stage. Luckily, knock on wood, but I never had that. So I've never had anything bad to say about the poor cleansing head. So I love this. So again, I use these in conjunction. I've just been rambling on forever. I use these in conjunction. This is the only soap I use on this currently because I love how this foams and because this has the pulsating, it really foams even more. So I think that they are a great combination. Now the last thing that kind of falls into almost all three of these categories is the brightening cleansing water I have mentioned to you guys, like, mm, I don't know, a thousand times. This is the best. This is a brand new bottle. As you can see, it's completely full, but I've gone through like, I don't know, five or six bottles of this. This is an amazing, amazing product. If you guys know about cleansing waters, that's awesome. Again, so many companies make cleansing waters, but this is truly the best cleansing water on my back I have ever, ever, ever used. So basically what a cleansing water does is you can use it before you cleanse. Um, you can use it, you know, after you cleanse as a toner. The way I like to use it, I don't use it in at night ever, but you definitely can use it as like a toner, like I said, um, or a second cleanse. I use this in the morning because I do not wash my face with normal soap unless I shower in the morning. Usually I try to shower at night, but if I shower in the morning, I don't wash my face with normal soap. So I like to use this cleansing water. Um, what I do is I just put on a few shakes on a cotton round and rub it all over my face. I don't have to rinse with this. So it's basically a cleanser. You just don't have to rinse off and it brightens and it's really nice. And I love the smell. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. And it hydrates and doesn't dry out my skin or anything. So I love this. Again, I've mentioned it a thousand billion times. So for those days that I do shower in the morning, this is kind of weird because You'd think I would just use the same cleanser, but I personally love using a beaded cleanser. And one of my favorites is the Aveda Tourmaline Charged Exfoliating Cleanser. So this has jojoba beads in it, and, and why it's great that there's jojoba beads in it is they're round. So they're not like normal, like, I don't, like a salt grain or, you know, like the St. Ives cleansing, whatever, like the scrub. And all those cleansers, those beads are like very sharp and they're not round. So what they do is if you look on at your skin under a tele, under a microscope, which I'm sure no one's ever gonna do, but just so you know, those types of beads cut your skin open. With a round jojoba bead, and I'm sure there's other beads out there, I am not super, super familiar, um, but with a round jojoba bead, they're not gonna cut your skin. There's no edges for it to cut. So it is just super smooth, it's very, very hydrated. Your skin stays nice and moisturized because there's mango butter, I believe? Yeah, because there's mango butter in it, so that's amazing, so it's basically, a white cleanser. You honestly can't see any beads, but when you rub it in, it feels so amazing. And the beads are teensy, teensy tiny, so this is good for like everyday um, use. But again, I like to only use this cleanser in the shower, which I know is very weird because it's just weird. Like I have a specific shower cleanser, but I do. I love to use this cleanser in the shower or any beaded cleanser for that matter. I love the way it makes my skin feel. I don't know if it's just like, because I feel like I'm in the shower, I'm in a spa, but 
but I love this Abeta Tourmaline Charged Cleanser. So that is it for all the cleansers. I only have three more products, so just bear with me. These are my toners and toning mists. My favorite toner of life is this Michael Todd Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. This stuff is life. This is my second bottle. It's a pretty big bottle. Let's see, it's eight ounces. So it's a pretty big bottle. Um, and I absolutely love, 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 love this stuff. It is to die for. Um, I used to use cucumber cleansing water, I believe, from Mario Badescu, which I liked, but nothing has compared to this. I hate to admit, but I'm a picker. If I get a blemish, I'm picking it. You can't stop me, I am going to pick it. Everyone yells at me and says, stop touching your face. I pick it. So, it's an amazing thing that my skin's not worse than it is because of this toner right here. It's an antibacterial toner. So the second I see myself start picking my skin, or if I'm at work and I'm picking my skin all damn day, I come home and I throw this a ton of this on. So it's just gonna kill all the bacteria, anything that you've now put on your face through the day, touching it, you know, just the elements, this stuff's amazing. It smells amazing. I'll read the back to you guys just because. Um, rich in vital nutrients, trace elements and amino acids, blue green, organic blue green algae and kelp in combination with hyaluronic acid penetrates deeply into the skin to speed the elimination of toxins, promote cellular renewal, um, naturally nourish and remineralize the skin. Highly moisturizing and moisture balancing with anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, cleans and maintains the skin's proper pH without drying the drying effects of alcohol, aids in the treatment of acne prone and problem skin. Prepare skin for serums and moisturizers. Contains black willow tree extracts recognized. Uh, contains black willow tree extracts recognized by th for thousands of years for its healing power and fresh, warm, spicy tea tree oil. A powerful stimulant to help infections and promote clear skin. So that is exactly what it does. I don't think, unless I can magically find a better toner, that I will ever use a different toner until I need like maybe some more anti-aging. Oh, it's leaking. Anyway, until I need like more anti-aging properties. So it comes in a pump like this, which it used to, this is a new bottle, which I'm not a big fan of, but it used to come in just like a, it had like a small little hole. You kind of shook it onto your cotton round. This pump, be able to see this and this will be wasting products I'll try to catch it oh I don't know if you saw that but it literally just shoots I don't know if I have a defective pump like it doesn't like to go down or if it's supposed to be like a lot smoother but mine I had pushed so hard so I really have to like place it right on the pad and squeeze it but that's the only issue I have with it but other than that honestly the best toner ever and I chalk my skin being the way it is up to this because I feel like if I was using just any other random toner, um, my skin would not be as okay as it is because I'm such a toucher, picker, prodder. I'm always on my face and it's disgusting. So the next two items um, are toning mists. So this one is the Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray with Aloe r Herbs and Rose Water. Um, this is amazing. I really like to use this honestly at the end, oh my god, my hair is so fucking annoying. I like to use this last step. I do not do it every night. I do not um, do it even every week. I always forget, but the smell to me is what puts it in this category. Sorry about that. Um, we were just interrupted because I had no space on my memory card. So let's get back to it. Anyway, I will read the, I don't know what the last thing I said is, but I'll read the back. Once you've tried this rejuvenating facial spray, you won't want to be without it. Use it to set makeup, soothe your, soothe your skin in dehydrated conditions, or give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. Um, so I do not use this to set my makeup because I have read reviews, and I think I've used it like once or twice, and I don't find that it really works to set my makeup. Um, so I do love to use it like honestly anytime, like currently right now. Ugh. I literally died. The smell is what sold me. Like I said, it's amazing. And I just feel afterwards, like once I put it on, once it sets, I do feel like it holds the moisture in my skin. Like I put my moisturizer on and then I put this on and it is seriously 
so nice and I feel like it holds all of the moisture a little bit longer and I again love the smell so that is a fave and my last favorite is this this is the aroma water from lush it's a toning water again I do not like to use I don't use this one like I use that one that one again I just spray all over my face I have a small little travel thing of that in my purse and I use that throughout the day this I like to use strictly at night like if my skin's not too too bad or if I'm just trying to take a little bit of a break from my blue green algae which is rare but again if it's not too bad and I haven't been picking that whole week um, I do like to use this one it has rose and lavender and of course you guys know rose is my jam but again I don't spray this on my face I will spray this onto a cotton round and use it as a normal toner I don't like to I don't feel like it's doing much of anything um if I just spritz it on me because I really do like to use this one as a toner so that's it guys that's gonna complete this video I hope that you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a big thumbs up Please leave me in the comments down below any of your favorite cleansers, toners, you know, pre-cleanse, anything like that. Please let me know what you like down in the comments. If you have not subscribed, please do. The subscribe button will be here, here, here. Anywhere in this box, it'll be somewhere. Find it. Anyway, that was really weird. Um, but that is it. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media. The links are in the description below and everything that I mentioned here is going to be in the description. I will try to link it whether you can find it online or tell you where you can find it in stores. But again, everything's down in the description, anything you need to know. So I hope you guys have a great day and festive holidays. See you next time. Bye. Hey beauties. Today I'm going to share with you my Black Friday haul. Yay. It's 1 a or it's 1 a.m. It's 1 p.m. currently.